What is going on guys? So in tonight's video, I want to just do a comparison between uh, all these cases in front of me that I picked up for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now I've been using the 15 Pro Max for uh, quite a few months and let me just say it's one of my favorite phones. Here it is, this is the 15 Pro Max in the D-Brand branded ghost case. And the ghost case uh, from my last video, you can see the unboxing. It's very, very simple case. It's about 50 bucks, a uh, pretty hefty price tag. But again, um, D-Brand is throwing out their scratch issue. And let me just uh, get into, dive into a one week brief review. Definitely the scratch problem is there. All right, I'm not sure if the light is picking it up, but you can see all these fine scratches especially along the um, gloss black version of portion of the MagSafe and fine scratches along the clear TPU on the back. Um, but overall, uh, I still like it. What I like about this case is it, it's nice. Um, it's a clear case, but it has grip. It doesn't pick up fingerprint smudges. Not, not as much, or maybe it's the x-ray skin that hides it, but it definitely shines through. It's, uh, if you have, if you want to show off like your titanium blue or any color iPhone that you, that you go, iPhone pro that you went with, uh, it's a good way to show off, uh, and also provides grip. It's a very unique case, uh, having like these designs in on the side, but overall the grip factor really is, uh, is. I would say understated, but this ghost case definitely, um, it's, it's nice. It feels good in the hand. It's pretty thin, right? It's, 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 it's not hefty. It's not heavy. Um, the camera bump is pretty good, right? It surrounds it. It fits the case, the camera bump with the tempered screen protector on top of the, the, the tri cameras. And, um, what else can I say about it in terms of pros? All right, uh, it overall has a decent lip on top. Uh, granted, I have a tempered screen protector on it. It's not flush with the screen protector. It still provides a decent grip on top and it provides a nice cutout for the USB-C right here. It's not gonna get stuck. And it's just overall a pretty good case to use in the past week. Now, the ghost case compared to competition, uh, let's go ahead and touch up on it. Now, I have a couple of these cases right here. Uh, the first one, the second one in the lineup is the Taurus case. This one is very nice, I think. These two cases, the Apple OEM silicone case, similar in, in material, right? Uh, really good silicone feel. It does pick up fingerprint or grease smudges, but you can easily wipe it off. Um, for the Taurus, it's a little bit more customizable. Well, definitely a lot more customizable because of the uh, a, the a swappable camera. I mean, not the the um, action button, the volume rockers. The Taurus gives you like all these mini um, volume up, volume down buttons for you just kind of just slap on. Very. Oh, whoops. Well, that wasn't. It's supposed to um, go on very very easily, and from here it gives you that tactile feel. Doesn't come off. Very secure. And in a sea of all these black cases, besides the ghost case right here, um, if you have a ton of phones on the table with your family or an event, you can tell which one's your phone by the volume button, or you can tell that's your phone by the D brand skin. Or maybe if you have a titanium blue phone and you go with this particular case, I'm not sure if the color is storm blue, matches the uh, titanium blue very, very well. Now, what I like about the Apple OEM cases is the, the fitment and everything, uh, you can't go wrong with these cases other than the fact that once you have this, uh, the silicone cases does break away uh, over time. I'm a huge fan of these. I've, I've used them in the, the minis in the past. It provides decent grip, right? But, uh, and also a decent camera protection. But if you use it for a good amount of time, the silicone does go ahead and chip away. And it's really, for 50 bucks MSRP, it's definitely not worth it. The Taurus at 20 bucks or 20 to 25, I would definitely recommend the Taurus over the, uh, over the OEM silicone case uh, compared, like based on material alone, customizability, and most importantly, the MagSafe. The MagSafe on the Taurus is the strongest out of all these cases. And it's really amazing how they do it because um, it's, it's very thin in the back, right? It's very thin. The ghost case 
itself is the weakest in terms of MagSafe. But what I think is that as long as it stays on my on, on my car mount while it's on rocky surfaces and it doesn't drop, it passes the MagSafe test for me. The, the reason why I say it's it's not as good in terms of MagSafe is you can easily just take this out, right? Versus the MagSafe case on the Taurus, you, you need to kind of pull back like with significant force. Also with the Apple silicone, this one is, I, I would say the second weakest, right? But other than that, it's all, they're all pretty, pretty decent MagSafe. But I think after party uh, cases uh, does go ahead and trump the Apple OEM MagSafe for the most part. Now moving on to the Kadabi brand. I have, I have the Kadabi synthesis right here and the Kadabi sheath right here. Now what I do like about the sheath is the overall feel. It's smooth, but it gives you a nice tactile rough feel. And this is the case around the whole phone itself. The camera bump, the volume buttons, and the power buttons, action button. It's uh, lined with felt on the back. It's uh, bendable. It's very really light feeling. I would say the most, the lightest case would still be the, the ghost case, right? Uh, without the phone on it. Um, the, I, I would say the heaviest case would still be the synthesis. I don't know why, it's just the material itself. Um, but this, the thing about this, the sheath, I like the material. It's just not as grippy because it's missing the grips on the synthesis right here. Now, the reason why I prefer the synthesis is because I dropped this phone, not because of the grip nature, the, the, the lack of grip, because it's definitely a really grippy. If you can see the grip on the side, and this is why I prefer the synthesis over the sheath. But it's because I had like a, the pockets on my jacket and every time uh, I forgot to zip it up, it just fell out. And I could definitely attest to the fact that this has 6.6 .6 feet of drop protection. All right. Um, and you can see the battle scars right along the camera bump the first time I dropped it. And it ruined the tempered screen protector that I had on the phone. I just had a couple of multiple replacements. So if you guys are wondering if you should invest into these uh, tempered screen protectors, I would definitely 100% yes. Because it ruined the, uh, the, the screen protector, but it kept the tri system safe. Now, I, as you can see from here, I have like little mini grips right here. They're called dragon grips I found on Amazon. And it, it really does improve the nature of the grip uh, because the back of the synthesis is not the same material as the sheath. The sheath has, the sheath has nice grippy material, but it lacks the, the dots the micro grips or micro dots on the side. So I would say the perfect Kadabi case would be the sheath with the felt lining, with the uh, shock light protection, everything like that, right? But with the uh, micro dots on the side. So that would be my perfect Kadabi case. But overall, um, the nicest case in my opinion is still gonna be the ghost case and one of the main reasons why I kept it. Uh, in terms of warranty protection, the D brand also, uh, they went ahead and addressed the whole scratching issue. And basically once they um, fix up the issue or in terms of the R&D, uh, they're gonna go ahead and send us a, whoever bought this case, uh, additional case for free. So making this $50 case, uh, pretty much half price, I guess, right? But definitely you can see scratches right here. It doesn't bother me as much. Uh, but it's nice that dbrand stands by the product and setting us additional case overall what i will what will i be keeping or well all these but what will i be rocking for the uh, next few weeks if not months will be the ghost case itself so uh because every time i look at the case and also once this case is on the table during an event or with family i can easily tell which one which phone is mine um it's it really does it's very unique a very nice case and uh, the cherry on top is the grip factor itself i don't have to uh it's kind of a combination of looks grip um aesthetics right and again they're saying they're touting 10 feet of drop protection so hopefully that's true but overall this is my um again my my review hopefully it was not too long but on that note thank you for watching um i'll see you next one take care